Uh, good morning, uh, uh, thank you to the um, chairman, to the organizer. Um, I will present the activity concerning the use of games uh, for uh, outreach and for sensibilization. Um, okay. Um, um, to play is a, a wonderful way to, to learn. Uh, by playing you can explore, discover, experiment uh, the world. Uh, in a strongly motivating, immersive and, and protected environment. So it is ex an excellent way to learn. And um, people with the, the use of board games uh, learn to use uh, um, games, to use uh, playing, not only to work with uh, uh, physical reality, but also with concepts, with abstract concepts and with ideas. Um, board games are one of the oldest forms of human social interaction. And of the same period of write, written language and uh, calculus, so the, the manipulation of ab abstract concepts. You can see here a very old game, the, the first example of board game, and um, a more developed uh, game uh, from Egyptian. Um, and the interesting point is that from the beginning, the, uh, the uh, board games were, were used for, um, for learning, for education. So, returning to Photonics for All, uh, the idea is to use different media to have a capillary impact, traditional media, social media, and experimental ways to, to interact with people, uh, for example, the use of games. So, let me describe this kind of activity. Okay, um, the Photonics Games activity uh, is based on three main pillars. Uh, we have the use of a uh, um, quantum rays, uh, a didactic board game developed uh, for this um, task. Uh, the, the use of a creative laboratory for the creation of board games and a competition. The, okay, the objectives are uh, awareness raising of photonics, on trip and didactics. Also cross promotion between these activities and the other activities of uh, photonics for all but also the, the building of a social network among different uh, uh, people that can collaborate in future in this kind of activity and also research in the, the uh, game-based learning uh, um, field. Let me start from Quantum Race. Quantum Race is a very simple game, a simple board game uh, and intriguing board game. You have cars that, this, that um, go on the, 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 the trace. <coughs> it's a simple race simulation, but the cars are, uh, can be delocalized along the track. Each car is composed by uh, six pieces that can be uh, spread, delocalized, but in the presence of uh, observation you have a collapse so that the, the, the car uh, reconstructs in one single position. And if you want, I have a copy of the game just to give a look. Okay, uh, it's a very simple game, but it's uh, very effective to introduce concepts such as uh, wave-particle duality, observation and collapse of the wave function, tunnel effect, and so on. We use three different versions, a live version uh, with uh, uh, live pounds moving on the board, a joint version for uh, public events, and a standard tabletop uh, version. It has been used in high schools, uh, it is really effective in high schools. Uh, you play the game and then you have a conference on uh, light, on photonics, on quantum mechanics and so on. And you catch the attention of um, students. Science festival, uh, but also game festival. So you can reach uh, a lot of young, peop young interested people, very curious people. Um, for example, in the European Researchers' Night, and uh, on um, Friday we will have uh, uh, the use of this game in, uh, in Rome. And also in um, an academic contest on the, the study of game-based learning, on pedagogy and so on. The impact, uh, we reached about uh, 1,500 people with uh, very excellent feedbacks. Um, um, very important is the development of a network of people working in different fields, so um, uh, research in physics but also in pedagogy, 
um, orga uh, organizer of, of public events, uh, uh, people working on uh, board games, editors, authors, and so on. And it is an interest network that, um, which is working to create new events and new occasions. And um, another uh, side effect uh, is the publication of Quantum Race. Quantum Race is uh, just a um, prototype used for this kind of um, uh, use. Um, but we found an editor that in collaboration with uh, CNR, the Italian National Research Council, will publish in the next year the game. And this will uh, spread this kind of activity uh, on a large public. So it is an important point. Second pillar is the Photonics Game Creative Laboratory. Now the idea is not only to use the board game to, uh, to teach something or to, for learning, but to involve people in the creation of board games and use this experience to communicate, to educate uh, to our photonics. So we create this uh, format, a 90 minutes laboratory, 30 minutes of explanation on how you can create your handboard game and um, flash on uh, photonics and uh, photonics in uh, real life and so on. Then you, in the next hour, people work and create uh, this game. And then they can take uh, all the material uh, with, at home and continue this kind of uh, activity, this kind of work. This uh, has been a successful activity. We involved about uh, 600 students with the production of uh, 150 uh, original games. Uh, you can see very interested people, very active people in this kind of activity. The third pillar is the Photonic Games competition. A competition in this case for Italian high school students, but I hope that this will be a, a model for other experience in Europe. And the, 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 the purpose is the creation of a board game on light and photonics. The, the competition started on uh, the October of the last year. Uh, it was one of the events of the International Year of Light in Italy. Um, finished in uh, January of this year. Uh, we have a selection of the best uh, three games and on um, uh, Saturday we will we'll have the, the, the final um, the, the, our ceremony, ceremony in Venice in occasion of the uh, Premier Chimede, which is the uh, main Italian contest for board game designers. So it is a very important occasion uh, um, for this kind of uh, activity. Okay, we involved uh, more than uh, 400 students uh, with the production of 28 games from uh, 16 Italian cities. Those are all the, the, um, the participants in the, the, the game uh, involved in the competition. Here is some uh, image, you can see a very different uh, development, uh, the use of uh, this uh, very nice uh, scientist uh, but also the use uh, of uh, light with laser and um, mirrors and uh, prisms and so on uh, in, with different um, ideas. Uh, light has been uh, considered from the point of view of science, technology, but also story, arts and so on. Uh, we have some example of the use of uh, Arduino, if you know it, uh, the use of electronic uh, elements inserted in the game. And those are the, the best three games we have. Okay, uh, um, we try to measure the impact of this activity with an anonymous survey. Uh, we have the, the answer from uh, 18 teachers. Mm, those are only preliminary results. And the impact appears to be um, good, very good. So, uh, if you need more information, uh, there is a, a paper, uh, this, uh, this paper, and you can uh, write to me for any further information. Thank you.